the other day I hit like a curve since my car's like really low I went over a little curve you know when you park in the parking spot anyway I went over and when I reversed this thing came off and they're charging me a thousand dollars to get this whole thing fixed crazy see the thing is that it doesn't you can't really tell like it's this I mean sometimes this falls off a little bit but like a thousand dollars you guys pay a thousand dollars just to get this fixed like would it bug you that much that you'd actually do it that's what i'm still debating i've been debating that for the last three weeks all right guys i'm gonna go to i'm about to go to the gym i'm gonna work out my back um my lips might not look that red right now but so it's really exciting i've been licking my lips a lot so like so my lips feel really really dry and on fire and kind of like swollen looking I woke up this morning and it was like really, really cold. And I'm just thinking of everyone else that works out like early in the morning. And I'm thinking like how many people are are quitting the gym just because of that. You know, it's just like a thought that ran through my head. Let's see. Blue Raz. Black Cherry Vanilla. Star Blast. Uh, which was this one? I don't think I've had this one. Yeah, I, no, I, I talked about this um, already. That if you've never had energy drinks, I suggest you guys never, ever, like ever, 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 ever drink any. Because, okay, so before I started drinking these, right? I already told you, like, I have a client who's sponsored by this company, Bang, and she gave me like two full cases of them. And I was like, yeah, I'll take them. You know, they were free, so might as well. So I drank both cases. I finished them, right? And next thing you know, like, I'm like fiending. Like, I wanted more. I was like, damn, I need to get a big energy drink. Like, I'm craving one. They're like low-key really addicting. And I wish I would have never drank one because now I can't stop drinking them. Yesterday, I had two of them. I had one in the morning and I had one in the afternoon. The guy at 7-Eleven also gave me like a free cookie. I don't know why. He said they were just giving them away. That they were left over inventory. I'm not going to eat the cookies, but I'll probably get a piece because it's moderation, guys. Remember, if you crave a little bit, eat it. It's not good to restrict yourself. This is a long journey, guys. Here I am at 24-hour fitness, though. Um, I'm about to work on my back. Your policy that was such a good workout guys also bought some protein because i ran out like a couple days ago and i've been going 7-eleven buying protein shakes and that starts to add up so i got a whole freaking bottle i can't stress enough guys like when you work out it gives you so much energy man like i don't know why people are avoiding the gym saying they don't have energy for it but what happens is that when you start working out it just releases so many endorphins it gives you so much energy throughout the day you know if you guys are desperate for like a snack you guys are craving like something sweet five one one brownies guys like i'm serious they are lifesavers they taste just like brownies but they're only 90 calories per bar another thing i got was this protein and i've never had this specific one but it was on sale 60 dollars, 70 servings so i decided to get that and also more whipped cream because i ran out yesterday when i made my protein pancakes Okay, I'm on my way to go train, but before I go, I want to show you guys my Christmas tree. Look how perfectly made this Christmas tree is, like, so... Okay, let's go. You guys see this gym? It's self-made. This is where transformations happen on the daily. What I'm having my clients do right now, I'm having them do a... Well, I'm ha what I'm having Vanessa do, it's a chest and shoulder workout. So I'm having her do a push-up. And then she's going to do it like a burpee and do a shoulder fly after that. That's a push up and then flies. When she does the fly, it's gonna work out the shoulders, guys. Push up works out the tricep, shoulder, chest. I'm gonna do like 12 reps on this, three sets. It's important when you guys do the push up that you guys squeeze the glutes so that way you're in a straight line like that. You guys see 
guys see how she's so straight? She squeeze that booty, guys. And then when you go down, straight line. It's like that. When women do upper body, they're not used to that burn, you know, and they, once they start making that face, when they're like struggling, they stop. But you gotta treat um, upper body like you do when you do legs and booty, guys. You gotta have to push yourself. And you're not gonna get buff, ladies. If anything, strong is more sexy. You have, to be, you have to be able to lift like as much as a guy if you're gonna look like a guy. So even if you lift weights, there's no way you're gonna get buff unless you're lifting like a bunch of like weight, like 100 pounds on each arm and shit. You guys see this workout right here? It's really good if you wanna get the weird belt muscles right here and then the upper back. And when you do this, you wanna do like around, you wanna do something high because the rear delt muscle is really small. So you wanna go like 16 reps on this. I'm having to do three sets. God, Vanessa, come on, make that face. How bad do you want it? Go. There you go. Come on. Good shit, dude. Come on. All right. It's getting a little too heavy. Hey, good job. You gotta show the world what's, what's up. You guys wanna know like a crazy core and upper body workout that also engages the back? This one right here that I'm having Vanessa do. So what she's doing is she's like in a push-up position, right? Her feet are wide. Her body's straight. And all she's gonna do is bring the elbow back this way. You don't wanna bring it out. You wanna bring it straight up. Just like that. And you wanna do like 12 reps on each side. This is a lot harder than it looks. It's a crazy intense upper body workout here. See? She's feeling it. Come on. You guys, you guys ever wonder like what's a good workout? for that unwanted raw fat like you guys have in the side. Right here. You wanna make sure your arms get all the way straight. You lean back a little bit, stick your chest out, and when you bring the bar, you wanna bring it down to your upper chest, just like that. And you wanna do something like around like 12 to 16 reps when you do this workout. You wanna make sure you do it with good form. Like I always say, like when it comes to upper body, you guys are gonna feel, like, it's gonna be like a weird burn because you guys aren't used to it. You guys have to push yourselves like you do with legs, man. Like your body doesn't want to change, guys. So you guys have to give it a reason to change. You gotta, you gotta push yourself in those last extra three reps. Hey, Vanessa. I just want to say good job. What? Good job. Thank you. Tomorrow. He's lost a lot of weight too. Huh? Yep. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'll see you on Friday. No, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Yeah. All right. You almost left me hanging. Okay. Hey, see, you ready? <laughs> okay, so I didn't um, record what I did after the gym, but I went to Chick Fil A. Um, it's something I do a lot when I go out. I probably eat Chick Fil A a lot, but it's been helping me stay on track with my calories because Chick Fil A has like a lot of good healthy options. They have the grilled chicken sandwich, the grilled nuggets. So I got that. See you guys tomorrow.